I mean, champ. This is Blue Black Control. This is one of my decks I've liked in Historic off and on over the years, and it didn't get any nerfs with the recent set of changes. We also added one copy of Tasha Unholy Archmage into the top end. I'm not sure if this card is good slash playable in Historic, but we're going to find out. We want to keep a tally of how often we tap out for this card on four and then end up dying because we did so. Who knows? Maybe it'll surprise us. It does alt kind of quick if they're not attacking her, right? Like you put her to five on four, you put her to six on five, and then she alts on six. So it could have potential. Let's uh, pop on into a few games with this and uh, see how it goes. I think it depends on the park too. Like I did uh, Six Flags a lot growing up. Christy was super into Six Flags when we first started dating a decade and a half ago. And like the weight on a lot of rides at Six Flags, especially depending on where you go, isn't too bad. But like Disney like famously has lots of really long waits for anything reasonable. Oh, by the way, unrelated to this, but relevant to later, we're going to be playing Magic for three or four hours, and we're going to do some Marvel Snap each day. And a bunch of people in the Discord server said they got Marvel Snap official beta invites, so if you've been waiting on that, you can uh, you should check your spam folder too. A couple people said it got filtered to spam for them. Slam, thanks for checking out the promo when you did. Appreciate it. Welcome back. Yeah, that seems great. We're on the play too, so you go tap land, untap land, untap land, untap land, take no damage. I like when my lands don't damage me. Black Lotus Leave is so good. Nice! I get to go threat into threat against the control deck now. Oh, not a control deck. Oh, we're getting, uh... This is Grease Fang, huh? I think I need to cast my card. We could just die here, but I think I think I'm supposed to cast my card. Everybody clench. What's going on, Reaver? Thanks for the two thirds of a year. Welcome back. All right, we've died. It's good to be back. Good shit. Hey, welcome to Thunderdome. Enjoy your stay. Graft diggers, maybe these graft diggers cages are supposed to be rune stones now. If uh, that's a card we have to care about in this format. Yeah, I mean, if I sit there and hold up the Archmage's charm, I just end up dying to the three one attacking me a bunch, right? Guessing, guessing my spell definitely is correct there. It's only a turn three on a saleable board stage yet. This is fine. Uh, I guess these technically clean up angels after the fact, huh? And they clean out the Grease Fang 2, so we're not just like dead to it outright. We played not so great against Grease Fang. This might be a, maybe we want to swap this for a different removal spell too if Grease Fang's around. Maybe make that a Heartless Act. Our Garfunkled. Thank you for the thank you for the quarter year. Welcome back. Good morning, good morning. What's the thought season two? 
just like, hey, keep my life total high rather than shocking myself to do it. And I kind of don't want to play this out on black because I want triple blue for Archmage's Charm. or not so fun interaction depending on how you look at it when you Yeheni's expertise and there's a Thalia in play you actually have to pay one additional mana for any non-creature spell you want to cast with its alt text as well because Thalia is technically still in play while this spell resolves because minus effects don't kill creatures state-based actions do I'm gonna gain two here, I think. Going on, Coolio. Thanks for the 17 buns. Maybe I do want Doomblade in the face of uh, Thalia and Ledger Shredder. Push and a cling. I ever beat this card? Wow, I feel scummed out of my promo. I paid 5,000 gold for this experience? Alright, I need to run to the restroom really quick. We're gonna make a couple adjustments after this beer break.
team. All right, well, that fell to Trish. Is. I think I'm going to cut this card before we even play it yet. If that's the stuff that's fucking happening to us, this card is awful, unplayable trash. There's just like, no way this does anything meaningful if that's the type of creature decks we're playing against in this format. Just really, really bad. I think I want a third... Cling to dust in my 75. And honestly, it might just be in the main deck. And I think Doomblade's probably not a playable two mana removal spell in the face of that deck. Had so much work done in the mornings this week, it's been terrible. Welcome back. It's coming on, Beetle. play like a bunch of super narrow cards but just like kind of generically reasonable stuff that hits that deck seems fine what's going on jesus thanks for the 12 months welcome back oh you know what's probably i feel felt like i wanted some more one mana removal ray of enfeeblement's probably absurd there huh let's do that instead of the noxious grasp do a couple of those like tags angels and stuff in the format too Brotherhood, thank you for the 16 months. Welcome back. It was fun. I was at a water park with three children under 10, so relaxing wouldn't be the definition I would use, but I had fun and the kids had fun. That's all I could really ask for. I did see, we were talking about the fact that they're giving us two anthologies this summer. And for those of you that aren't familiar, I was actually in the discussion room uh, that Wizards of the Coast was making this decision in. And someone was like, well, we could do one 30 card anthology and sell it for the same price as a 25 card anthology. And someone else was like, but wait, what if we did two 20 card anthologies and instead sold each of the 20 card packs for the same price as the 25 card pack. They were like, yeah, that's it, sold, ship it. That is 1000% why uh, why there are two anthologies and not just one now. No, they announced that there's two anthologies. There's two 20 card anthologies coming. They technically haven't announced the prices yet, but I would be shot. Wizards, this is your chance to shock me. Price... Price the 20 card anthologies cheaper than the 25 card ones. Usually you say you're not supposed to make changes after a game or two. What makes Respec different? Because this format's different. I haven't played this deck since uh, months, since the format got a bunch of different bands. You'll also note that I didn't go and make a bunch of changes to my deck that are only good against Greasefang, right? Like, I added a card like Ray of Enfeeblement, and take this match, for example. I'm about to board Ray of Enfeeblement in in this matchup as well. So it's not like I sideboarded a bunch of cards that are only good in one spot. I made some more broad changes to my deck to make it better against a range of things. And it feels like a lot of cards we're going to have a hard time with. I think it's Nettle Cyst. It's in 28 months, Billiam. I think I 
think I'm just taking this out back and drowning it in the lock? Oh, they can crypt themselves here. That's fine, I think, though. If we draw an untapped land next turn, we can fatal push their smith and then play Narset part of Veils out. Are these the only two lands that don't make blue mana in my deck? They are. We have one swamp and one hive. We technically have one field of rune too, but if you squint, that makes blue mana. It's a good, good beat. So, Narset keeps Thought Monitor from being anything more than a 2-2, which is nice. It also turns off the passive on Esper Sentinel here. So we just, like, cast our spells and decline to pay. Uh, I must stay focused. Mm, I guess it only turns the passive off on their turn, technically, right? Supposed to cash this in. Let's exile each opponent's graveyard. So they can technically Metallic Rebuke me here. So I have, uh, I have two artifacts untapped. That means they can't attack with the Esper Sentinel this turn, so it's still a, still a win for us. Shadow Rill, thanks for over four years. Welcome back. Good morning, good morning. Ooh, we're holding on to the rebuke, huh? Go to Slipstream, stream, thanks to 22. Listen, chat. I had, someone had to hang out with Haley in the hotel room while she napped. So what did you expect me to do? Not do my Marvel snap dailies while I was in the hotel room with Haley? Are people asking why we're not doing this? Back to the discussion of these are my only two non-blue lands in my deck.
And now you can't rebuke this. I just get to pay for it. Take the nettle cyst and leave them, the ingenious smith and these dorkos. Tall deer, thanks for the five months. Welcome back. Lur, thanks for the sub gifties. Happy Friday. Good to be back. Now this is a little scary because they do have they do have metallic rebuke now and they spike the land. Slow play has been awful. I mean, that's just how Magic Arena works. Everybody plays Glacial in this application. Give him an impulse. They can kill her anyways. If we get a Thought Seize, we can clear this rebuke and then kill their stuff. Keep an open mind. You could have also hit like a fatal push or piece of spot removal there. That would have been good. I think we're just drawing two cards here. There could be an argument to taking the Moonsnare prototype to put them further off of these, but they're already only at five towards those. So I think I just want some gas here. Our opponent has used uh, three more minutes off their clock than we have. For anybody that's keeping track. Aren't they at six towards it? Three lands and two artifacts is five, unless I am missing something. Oh, this taps artifacts. It does. Good call. Sorry, I'm not used to these zoomer cards. This is, this is Springleaf Drum in my brain. Fast Bond Lands, thanks for the quarter of a year. Welcome back. I'm committed to making sure this Thought Monitor doesn't resolve. One nerf set, please. This Twitch stream is pre-recorded in front of a live audience. Thanks everybody for hanging out today. Appreciate you. Yeah, yeah I, I has, has been. Two weeks since we played Magic. I have a bunch of cold shots saved up. Feels like a shark typhoon. And now, now they have to Soul Guide Lantern me so I can't Memory next turn. Why do I care if they play a, why do they care if they play a Windrake?
They can kill Narset with that'll assist stop monitor anyways, so. DM me a deck submission. DM'd where? Twitch? Twitch, got it. Sounds good. I don't know if this is the correct play, but that's where I'm at. Must be that max, six to the 20 months. Welcome back. Definitely a content typhoon. And then they have more mystic disputes or metallic rebukes than portable holes in their deck right now. So I, I think we fatal push the Smith now. And then obviously we lose to a portable hole. That's what's gonna happen here. But I think it's correct to do this to play around their four of counter spell. They have more holes left to rebuke. Don't they usually play four in the main? Moonsnare also gets us, that's true, but that gets us regardless, right? I will fight for my friends. I'm not dead yet! And then if we survive here, we're in a pretty good spot, right? Because we get to second shark type food into search for Azkanta and just have like a plethora of blockers. You may regret that choice. You may have... You may have a an island. Opponents archetypes existed for a while for people that are commenting on that. Wow, they drew the metallic rebuke? Remember when we played around this card chat? And I actually can't pay three there because they have portable hole waiting to be got with Karn. So I need a second blocker here. We can lose this game now. What? Uh, I accept. Some solutions must be built. Uh, scribe. I really want like a fatal push or a cling or something. Yeah, that's fine. The 
This gains control of the five five. The choices we make reveal who we are. One, which one? One. That one. Okay, yeah, that's fair. A little, little baby one. By the time it gets over to us, I can just draw two here, right? Feels like we're heading into garbage time. I think we're ahead enough that I can do this. I think I'm cycling this. Shadow Spear would be annoying, but we, we had just, I mean, we have a lot of stats worth of blockers. Do you know I mean? Sure, Shadow Spear is that bad for us? When Drake resolves. What's going on, Eric? Thanks for the 35 months. Welcome back. Days. It means I don't get to flip search this turn, but I think I'm okay with that. Chillin. What do the kids say? We're vibing. This lets them make their nettle cyst really large. They make, uh, Four treasures at the moment. So four treasures is plus three, so this goes to eleven. Yes, you will. Oh, they only have four cards in their bench yet. What's going on, Sunday? Thanks for the five months. Welcome back. Yeah, hopefully we get news about the anthology soon. You know what Kiki means? Kiki is a 2 2 goblin that combos in Magic the Othering. I refuse to allow a zoomer to tell me otherwise. What's going on, Siren? Thanks for the 19 months. Welcome back. Appreciate the Prime. That was, a, that was a joke, Sergeant Shield. As we were talking about corporate greed. Yeah, I, I guess they were just like expecting me to not see the treasure vault and just like block just enough, huh? Our opponent is now uh, five and a half minutes down on us compared in clock, or as I like to call it, two games of Marvel Snap.
sound bug got worse while you were away. I mean, would you have it any other way, chat? Were you were you expecting it to get better? Ooh, a piece of candy. Oh, wait, wait, I should drown. No, I don't need to drown the thought monitor, right? She's not really doing anything. This is the part where if I was playing, if this was a match of paper magic, I would be playing with my hand face up on the table just so my opponent knew that like they didn't have outs to draw. I mean, it's been a long game too, but like opponents down five and a half minutes compared, compared to us. The good news is if they take this long in the next game, they, uh, they time out. Good chat. Good chat. So a match of paper magic, would you have called a judge to watch for slow play? Yeah, probably. It's a mystic dispute matchup. Don't know. Thoughtseize definitely stays in. I know Kling was like, okay there, but I think this comes out in this matchup. Uh, Ashiox kind of clunky. Um... I like the extra commit to memory because they have a lot of permanence we wouldn't mind interfacing with on the board on occasion. I think it's a Ray of Enfeeblement matchup. They're an Esper Sentinel deck. Yanni's expertise actually gets outsized the number of points in this matchup, right? Maybe we cut these and we put like the Soot and the Verdict instead. You can see that. I mean, it's fine to reuse animations for things like removal spells. That's not a big deal. It is a little awkward that Ritual kills Sea and Sky. Yanni's expertise does not. Why no Tasha? Because I have the willpower to tell Twitch chat we're not playing terrible cards this morning. Villain, huh? That's pretty good. Which format of Baldur's Gate cards? Like, all oh, alchemy and historic. Typhoon is basically cheating, chat. But that's fine. We're using our card that's basically cheating to beat a card from Modern Horizons 2.
I will say playing against two Esper Sentinel decks in back-to-back -back games this morning has definitely reminded me what a kind of rancid uh, set these cards were. People, people have asked me if I'm willing to poke back into modern. I definitely just like, I despise the designs on a lot of these cards. They're much worse than normal fire design is even, I think. But I'm glad they finally nerfed a couple of them here in Historic, but in general, not a fan of the types of gameplay they tend to generate. All right, and now we'll give them a card to Ritual Ascent here then, huh? So this is an artifact, and this is an artifact. So we could probably cast this this turn. Does that math work that way? Counting and stuff. We had untapped land. We can go uh, search into the sea and sky. It should be great. I'm just playing this. The audio bug is so disorienting. And so I feel like I'm playing Magic Online because everything is just so eerily quiet. The fact that my opponents now, uh, you know, use more than seven minutes that I have also doesn't help with the feels like I'm playing Magic Online experience because, well, your opponent playing Glacial is a kind of cornerstone to that application. Thought we were muted and I got scared when you talked to you. Yeah, 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 that's why there's a there's an icon there next to my name when I mute. What's going on, Cadaverous Dean, sir? Thanks for the year and a half. Welcome back. Good morning, good morning. We're probably losing this game at this point, but also my opponent has played so incredibly slowly that I'm gonna play for timing them out in game three. Uh, there aren't any hennies in my deck at the moment. Assume my drown doesn't resolve here. I had held up mana for Shark Typhoon, which is why I didn't thought seize, but that's what it is. It's just so eerie and quiet. Uh, I think I'm cycling this to draw a card. I don't, I don't know that we have outs that I'm actually drawing to here is the problem. And the, owl, the owl and the crickets. It's, it's like it's it's a cool summer night on Magic Arena. Cool, cool.
Countdown. Nine minutes on clock. I imagine by the time this game ends, by the time this game ends, I'll be down even more than that. Do uh, Moon Snare prototype number three. Okay, I got one. We're going to two so we can no longer cast the Thought Seize. Okay, we have plenty of black mana, so let's make another blue at this point. Uh, I think I'm chilling on uh, the Sea and Sky attack, because it can block the Smith at this point. Kind of feeling punished for the fact that I cycled my other Shark Typhoon for no value, but... I can borrow an Ornithopter, that's accurate. If so solid, not dead yet energy still here. We're not, we're not just running down their clock. We also have like a way to wiggle through this. We're not dead on board, no. Oh, they can tap it with the Moonstar prototype. Yeah, I missed that. That's fine. I have, uh, I have Soaring City and, uh, what's it called? Let's all just commit here. On the off chance they have another counter spell, I'm gonna go ahead and bounce the thought monitor rather than commit it. They can replay it, obviously, but I'm just trying to stay alive here. What's going on, Gout? Thanks for 26 months. Welcome back. I have 17 minutes on my clock. They have seven minutes on their clock. They have eight cards in their bin now. If I drew a land, I could play commit drown drown is appealing. I just have to pass here though. So I'm performance hawk. Thanks for the third of a year. Welcome back. Uh, I think they have a shot to win this game. You want to search drown drown? Maybe. Should we cast a spell while they're tapped out? No, I think I think living this turn because they have. I think living this turn involves play, getting through them having counter spells. Uh, Clipsy, thanks for the 51 months. Welcome back. What's going on, Dext? Thanks for the 17. Oh, 
Avocado pose tastes so good. They're lovely. Just lovely. Oh, we're actually just dead on board, right? I don't care. Chan, I'm gonna be honest. I am debating just conceding the match just because this has been just that unfun. Like, the one thing Pokemon Unite and Marvel Snap really get is the pacing of a game. And like, it's just an absolute, complete and total utter design failure on Magic Arena's part that like, my opponent gets to be 11 minutes down on clock against me. This just, this just isn't something that should be possible. It's like, I, sh I shouldn't have to have this fucking experience. It's such an awful user experience. Why do, why do I have to sit here while they take this much time? Yeah, like, the, dig the digital card game giving you more time than you get playing a game of Paper Magic is so mind-boggling stupid. Like, digital speeds up so many things compared to paper. Like... You should have less time on your clocks in digital compared to paper. Or at a, at a minimum, it should be the same, right? Why timers are 30 minutes and not 20 or 25 is just awful. Com completely unacceptable. It's so the timing for paper. In paper, you get 50 minutes for your entire match. And that includes sideboarding and shuffling. Untapped land. Nailed it. There should be some sort of penalty for there being a big delta between you and your opponent's clock. So, I'm gonna search here. I assume whatever I cast here is getting countered, so I'd rather they counter my uh, cheaper spell so I can hold up drought. I guess I could. No, their, their counter's gonna cost three. This is, this is fine. Uh, my opponent's timer is right here under chat. They just ticked to four minutes. As a person with hand mobility issues, I like their generous with time because it takes me longer to do things. Okay, real question. How often do you use the full 30 minutes off your clock as someone with a disability? Do you do you frequently use all 30 minutes? Is that is that something you experience frequently? Help me help me learn. Do do you need 30 minutes? Also, playing best of one that's completely untimed is also an option if you need extra time to play. Also, I'd be surprised if this particular person is a disability issue just because, like, they're moving and mousing over things quickly in spots. They're just taking forever at decision points. Yeah, Hex's interface was consistently pretty bad, though. 
had a lot of, a lot of choices that weren't great. To, to set a low bar, I think Magic Arena is much better than Hex's Interface. At a, at a minimum, the fact that Magic, Magic Arena allows more time per clock than Magic Online does is really strange to me, because Magic Online is much slower. In terms of how long it takes you to actually play the games out. So it's, it's weird to me that the faster platform gives you more time on the clock. I don't even really want to do this, right? I'm just going to cast Shark Typhoon. And if they drew a counter spell, then we'll memory next turn. Yes, yeah, arena rounds are technically more than 60 minutes even because you also get multiple two-minute separate timers for sideboarding is accurate. Whoa, Moon Snare hits any card. Okay, we both get seven cards here then. I was punished for not thought seizing first, but I didn't have the mana too, so maybe we're just supposed to wait. I don't know. I think we're ahead from a position like this. We'll see though. I don't know. I feel like... If you've watched any amount of Twitch streams before, you know that a, a streamers tend to complain more about slow play than anything else, right? If you're, if you're worried about being a streamer calling you out while you play against them, a streamer's way more likely to call you out for playing at a glacial rate than they are to... Uh, That happened, and then we pass here. Like, like, chess. I don't even really have to do anything. I was gonna like not die for eighty seconds while they sit here. Like this here, right? Like there, there's no way that this time they're taking right now is a disability thing, right? Like they're obviously having a connection problem, or there's something wrong. Like they just set, spent eight seconds waiting there to click past the turn. Yep, spin them tires. Yeah, we might realistically, like, be in trouble here if the opponent didn't have 30 seconds. Thought, four thought monitors, a lot of cards.
Are you even actually not supposed to tap out there and just hold these up? Well, we've now played our deck for an hour and two minutes, and we've played two matches. <laughs> oh, man. We won, but at, at what cost? At what, at what cost? A test of endurance. Something Sunday. What's going on, Violet? Thanks for the 38 months. Welcome back. I'm not restarting my client every two games because of the audio bug chat. You're just gonna have to deal with it. It sounds like maybe it corrected itself without a restart. I honestly don't know what the issue is or how it works. He's a nice pickup. I think we just tap land on one, though. There's a reason to deal four to myself right away. There was a, a Hearthstone card at one point that screwed with how much time you had to actually play your cards out, right? Or am I, am I making that up? I feel like I remember that being a thing. Go throw it away here. And if they find another Faithless Looting, they could floop their Phoenix out here. My favorite types of decks to play in Magic, historically speaking, are decks that utilize the combat step as a meaningful form of interaction. But a little bit of a hard knock life for people like me in a post fire design world. You could use some training. Such a good one to grab here, too. Narset's just gonna chill on two here for her passive. Quarwan, thanks for the two years. Welcome back. Oh, real good for us. Castle Vantress lets us scry. And if they give us anything to commit here, I think I just commit this, right? Well, I guess if they draw an attacker, now I'm, I'm gonna let this go because they draw a way to attack this. I can't, I can't memory next turn. The problem is that they just don't cast anything. I get into trouble. Oh, I could wait to get rid of that one to turn two. All right, so Kling is good here. Uh, Rampant people, man, it actually always kills Darcy now, right? It's kind of exciting. 
Um, is expertise a good... Well, so if they don't cast another spell, Brotherhood, I can't, I won't have anything to commit, is the, is the thought process. Yeah, it was just, I want, I wanted to memory the following turn. And there's no, no guarantee that they give me another target to memory. All right, let's add a command for Tasha. You can put bad cards in your own decks. If you want Jeff to put bad cards in his deck, deck submissions are $50. To the, direct and to the point, I think. This probably isn't a matchup I want a bunch of disputes in, huh? I'll leave the first one in. It could be right to just have a Heartless Act here, too. Maybe that's better. I do enjoy me a good Doom Blade. Add cards in my deck more likely than you think. Yep. It's fine. Has my colors of mana, has it cling to dust? That's true. You can also free to play a deck submission by achieving Shillionaire status. It does still come with one of those. Do Shillionaire deck submissions count for snap? I haven't actually started doing snap deck submissions yet because my collection's not fully fleshed. Once I, once I have a couple more cards in snap, we'll definitely be doing snap submissions on the cheap because the games are so much faster. I think we're just bidding any non-lands here. Up charm here. It could be right to just play the tap land though too. Uh, I have a build around submission for the new Hag Coven card, actually. To answer your question, do I think it's bad? I don't know. Happy birthday, Marty. I was gonna go ahead and try and counter this one with charm. Uh, yeah, I opened Ghost Rider, Hood, and Spider-Man over the week. As far as snap stuff is concerned. I'll definitely play with some of those this afternoon. We're gonna we're gonna play this deck for probably another 45 minutes, and then I have an explorer deck submission that we're gonna play. We're gonna play some five color niv and explorer. And then we'll play some snap to round out the day.
What's going on, Red Lake? I got a little bit of a red head after being out at the pool all week. What's going on, Liqueur? Thanks for 11 months. This might be a cycle, Fetid Pools Angle. Build my, my graveyard up. Seasoned Pyromancer. A lot of birds. All right, so Season Pyromancer is not a card I am used to seeing out of their archetype, and that makes me think I probably want... Makes me think I probably want um, some of my expertise in post-board. I boarded them out. Just, they, usually they don't go wide, but this changes that dynamic. What's going on, Tiago? Thank you for the tier three and for the almost three years. Welcome back. Bora! Thanks for 13 months. Should have claimed one of the birds EOT. Nah. No, oh, transforming does not trigger a revolt. <laughs> the uh, flip planeswalkers explicitly trigger a revolt because they exile themselves and then return themselves to the battlefield. Normal transformations do not. here okay that's uh that's a five five that blocks i guess i could thought seize and then it's a four four that blocks it's probably plenty right still eats their phoenix i take their fries so i can keep my blocker I guess it dies to the pillar of flame, but then they're less likely to bring their phoenix back. I need to, I need to stem the bleeding here. The audio bug happening every single game is uh, really something. So the 38 months cheesy. Welcome back. It's gonna have Pino. Thanks for the 37. I guess I technically die to a haste creature with this line, huh? This 
honestly, do you? Okay, so... It's awkward that none of our sweeper... I guess this hits speed eggs, but it doesn't hit their bigger other bigger things. I guess I, I guess I want these back in. It commits a little slow. Yeah, I don't need the raise if we're on the hennies. You don't like C's? I think C's is fine. They have they have counter spells post board. And being being able to attack a threat has a lot of value. We have like cling to gain life. Oh, you know what? The fact that they're on Brazen Borrower could make the Raise of people a bit more worthwhile because it tags that and Darcy. I mean, why play answers at all then? You just like, why play Thought Seas at all? And I just play through whatever they're doing. That's a weird, weird thing to say. It's kind of, it's kind of like buzzwordy bullshit. We just play through those. Like, what does that actually mean? Tagging, tagging something like Crackling Drake has a lot of value. Getting past counter spells or more expensive spells are more likely to resolve has a lot of value. Holds most awkward evolving wilds is on deck. The second, bl third blue for charm, and I want the second black for expertise. The second black for expertise with that draw. This might just be a fetal push, the season pyromancer, huh? It's been 31 months, Demolisher. Welcome back. I think I'm gonna grab my second black and just push the pyromancer off a cliff. Stacks up some cards in the bin. Untapped land. Two shots at it. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Soul Guide Lantern against me. Oh, are they worried about getting memoried? thing. Uh -huh. I'm bidding that. Straight in. Definitely happy to take their threat. I guess we'll just cash this in for a card. Meditate and prepare. At least the next card's also a land, I guess.
This is where the magic happens. Quality, low variance, high skill gameplay. Draw a couple of cards at least. It, it's actually the, from a design perspective, Lands have this really weird dynamic in modern magic design. So I actually think modern magic designs between creature lands and utility lands and things like modal double face cards, there's actually never been a better time for mitigating the resource variance that's inherent to lands and magic. The problem is that because the power level of everything in Magic got ratcheted up to a 12, it means that the variance isn't actually any better because the games where you stumble or miss, you're so much more likely to die faster because you can't miss a beat with how strong everything is in Magic today. So the... The variance happens a little bit less frequently, but it stings even more when it does because of the nature of how magic cards are designed today. That's actually lovely. If I cling to dust to potentially exile their uh, Phoenix next turn. That puts me to a six card in my bin. So this cling will be seven for my search to flip. Maybe we have a shot here. I have a lot of cards in hand, but as Kanta is very strong. I think I have to wait until they get to attackers to drown this arc light, which exposes me to a counter spell, but I think they're pretty likely to be able to flip it right back into play if I kill it on my turn while they're tapped out. So kind of damned if we do, damned if we don't type situation. So the 33 ones, Marky, welcome back. Attempt this now. Out of here. No, as Kanta transforming does not trigger revolt. We talked about that a little bit ago. Some, some transformations explicitly say they exile and then return themselves to play and those trigger revolt. Uh, I don't really think that poor balance is something that's new to Fire Design Corel. That's, that's, that's kind of always been there. 
Magic Magic's always been a game where a majority of the cards that they designed are explicitly designed to be bad. So a majority of Magic cards are just not playable. That's not that's not new to our current design schema. It's just how the game's always been. And that that's a symptom of the fact that Magic at its core game is designed to sell uh, booster packs, lottery tickets, right? That's not a game that's uh, designed just purely for gameplay perspective. Reason borrow word in time. I also does it. All right, we're gonna the restroom real quick. When I get back, we're gonna try one more with this, but I'm not, as of right now, I don't think this is likely to be a deck that we play again. It's not feel particularly competitive still. Zafa, he's for 39 months. Welcome back. Morning, John. Howdy, Weens. Going on, press big. If you haven't checked your spam folder, a bunch of people in the subs discord all got invites to Marvel Snap in the last few days. So they've been definitely been ramping up how many invites they've sent out. A few people said they got spam filtered. I, I'm hoping, based on how much they've been ramping up invites, they're going to hit full open beta by the end of the month. Would be ideal. Our, uh, our three, four, looking pretty reasonable to start here. We played against this card in three of our four matchups, which I honestly, I think is probably the biggest reason this deck's probably not playable. Uh, this is a tough nut to crack. Going on, Flash. Thanks for the 43 months. I just give him a card and expertise the board, right? Makes the rest of my hand way less awkward. Takes a bunch of power off that line. 
So I can't actually cast any of these because I'll have to pay... I'll have to pay one because Dahlia's technically still in play here, so we just have to decline. Oh, this is a free free card, right? Because this is negative power. In. What's that? I'm getting attacked back. Well, that's fine. If you wish to surrender now, I have just the trick for this. a little greedy it might be might be correct to grab the one one here as a chump blocker I need to find a fatal push for their Cave of the Frost Dragon here. Put thoughtfulness before action. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just cycling this. You know their expertise doesn't get us out of this, right? Own your prowess. We can like Archmage's Charm, a blocker. I feel pretty dead. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and move on to Explorer. This deck has not felt particularly competitive, and I've not been having a lot of fun this set. So I think my wrap-up segment for this is uh take it and delete it. A pretty, pretty awful set overall. Just all of, all of the, playing against three different various Esper Sentinel decks that if one of them hadn't been played by someone who was just like playing glacially, um, I don't know that we would have done anything. I don't know that we even would have had the one win that we had. I'm gonna try like, a couple people posted a couple other historic decks that we'll probably give a try to this week, but I think there's a real chance that Modern Horizons cards are just not for me. Playing against stuff like Esper Sentinel, I just don't have a lot of fun with on average. So there's probably a chance we're going to stick to Explorer, Alchemy, Standard, etc. We won't, we won't write it off fully just yet, but after, after that session, I'm definitely leaning towards uh, continuing to avoid... Continuing to avoid uh, Historic. It does not seem like a particularly great format. Can I have a slice of cheese? Thank you for the 33 months. Welcome back.